Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Fable 2. Alright. We are, um, here in the Gypsy area. I don't know, what do, what do they call this area? What does it say? Uh, it doesn't really say, does it? On our map. It would be kind of nice. Regions? Nope. Doesn't say nothing. Uh, super collect the new equipment chest of your caravan. So yeah, there's people here. You can actually start interacting with them if you want. I'm just gonna go straight for my stuff in the caravan. And this, oops, <laughs> I'll be running into a lot, into a lot of people. Now, here it is. And this little caravan you see here, it's actually your home. You can come here and sleep if you want. Rusty long sword. Light splintered crossbow, placebo health potion, dog elixir, and collar of holding spade. Now, what the collar does is you can put it on your dog, and uh, you can do fun stuff with it. Like, name your dog. I will name my dog Dog. No. <laughs> I will name him, I don't know, what's a generic name? Um, let's just go with uh, Spot. There, we're done. All right, Spot, your faithful companion. He likes dog treats and his expression fetch. He dislikes the expression punish. He has a he likes he's good opinion of me. Now I'm not sure exactly what the other two mean. I think the top one is obviously love and, and hate. The next one I think is fear and something. The bottom one is humor, I think. Whether they find you humorous or not, I think. I, I'm not quite sure, but I don't know. It's the best that I got. See, there's a little uh, symbol beside the little uh, clipboard which means that we can rent this out I'm actually going to do that because it gives you money if you do that yes see if someone moves in you will receive income from this property every five minutes this means you still be making gold even when you're not playing fable I think it's every five minutes of playtime every 15 minutes when you're not I'm not quite sure though but anyways you'll get money throughout the game whether you're playing it or not so that's good. Let's talk to her. Now come with me. Open the gate. Good luck. Hmm. Take this. Bower Lake Tome Seal. It is a powerful artifact. The kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Now. That's where it is. The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. In its darkest depths lies the chamber of fate. When you come out again, you will be stronger. Much hmm. stronger. Okay. Now go. Go. All right. We get access to um, this area. Oh, I forget. Bowerstone Lake, I think, is this area. You can jump off cliffs now. And the dog's trying to let me know that there's a chest here, but I know that. You can explore more of this area. There's lots of stuff around here to find. Um, see, the dog will point you to treasure if you want to find some. Uh, like, you can go diving in the lake, even, for, uh, treasure. I'm not sure if we can find any. Let's have a look. I usually just go straight to the crypt, so I don't know if there's any treasure around here. There's usually one right here, so maybe there isn't any treasure around here yet. I don't know. Let's just go to the tomb. We can explore this area shortly. There'll be plenty of opportunity to. 
so I'm not too worried. Alright. Let's unlock it. And that's what we use our seal for. It's pretty big. And yes, they do have all the kind of quote-unquote downloadable content for this. Which means you'll be seeing different areas of the game that wasn't in the original release. I'll try to remember to point that out when I come across those areas. Oh, here we are. Find the Chamber of Fate. Don't be alarmed. I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that Did hole it. to continue. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break your fall. Oh, okay. Now, um, there's certain things that you want to... No, no, not in this area. Okay. Because there's things you have to find when you're here. So, just keep a lookout. You'll know it when you see them. Alright, I just want to keep a sharp lookout. Because I'm going to try, emphasis on try, to get 100%. Which means all silver keys, silver chests, and demon doors. But, uh, we'll see about that. Bow! You can just shoot the beetles. There's more. Shoot you. And again, what weapon do you use? Um, means what kind of experience you get. Yellow is the skill experience, which is your, you know, your crossbow and agility and all that fun stuff. Those green there we orbs go. hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures mm -hmm. that you kill. The dog found some treasure around here. I want to know where it was. Ah, here we go. Our first silver key. I don't think there's... I hope there's nothing else around here. Yeah, I'm not going to bother in here. Right, more exploration. Ah, more beetles. Yeah. Ha. For now, all we can use is our arrows and our sword. So. Fable 2 changed it up a bit, where you can use guns as well as like crossbows. So keep that in mind. What's that? You'll have to shoot the switch to okay. go any further. Yellow means use your skill, which is your arrows. I want to go in here. And we have some treasure. Ore. Hundred gold. And I'm gonna try and get all the like legendary weapons too. So. We'll see. I don't, we don't want to skip this. This is actually a new weapon that we can actually want to start using right away. Rusty mace. Better than your rusty longsword. Whoa! Whack, whack. Crushing some beetles. Those are big beetles. I don't think there's anything else. You don't want to skip any books either. At least I don't think you do. I want to try and get us all the books that I come can come across anyways. Yeah, smash. There. Get some good experience. Well, no, not good, but <laughs> this is better than not getting any. Okay, now this is the area where we want to uh, search around a bit, because there's dead bodies where we can get some diaries. This appears to be a page from an explorer's diary recording the details of an expedition into this cave. Third day. My hand is shaking from exhaustion, but I must remain vigilant. I almost nodded off last night as we camped around the fire, but still managed to keep an eye on Derek and Drake or Eric and Drake. I have seen the greedy glimmer in their eyes. They mean to make their treasure theirs. Perhaps it is time to make use of the poison. Brendan. 
Hmm. Well, it's kind of strange, don't you think? Let's go over here. There's another one. Eric's letter. This unposted letter was written by a member of an expedition of treasure hunters. Dearest Harriet, our voyage into the entrails of Bower Lake has taken a turn for the worst. I only hope I survive to see daylight again. You were right about Brendan and Drake. They are selfish brutes, conspiring behind my back, plotting my murder so that they can keep the treasure for themselves. But fear not, my love, for I plan to poison their water supplies while they sleep. Soon we shall be rich. Feverishly yours, Eric. Hmm. Like, I wonder what kind of more backstory that was. Like, was she kind of manipulating this guy in order to get his treasure when he finds it? Or, you know? Kind of interesting. He seems like he would do anything that she said. Since he, you know, he did feverishly yours. There's another one. Drake's suicide note. On this tattered piece of paper are the last words of one Drake Morton, explorer and treasure hunter. Man can only be pushed so far before he breaks. Five nights without sleep while those villains scheme behind my back, losing a foot to a giant beetle that never ending attack of hiccups. Well, it was all worth it, for I have found it. Yes, treasure is mine. Who knows what great hero made use of this magical gem. All I know is that neither Brendan nor Eric will ever get their hands on it. I am planning to poison them both tonight. Then I'm throwing the gem into the lake and poisoning myself too. Just in case. Nobody make a fool out of Drake Morton. He was definitely crazy. Okay, now that we've gotten all those letters, we can actually go back down here into the lake and find that gem that he was talking about right here. Let's dive for it. Bewitching Augment. You can attach augments to some weapons to make them more powerful. Use your chosen augment in the item screen to attach it to an item. Be warned, once attached, you won't be able to remove it. It's a lie. You can remove it. Only with the downloadable uh, content, though, I do believe. So, No worries there, you just have to buy a certain item and you can remove it. Alright, let's go back. I think we lost our dog. He tends to get lost a lot, so no worries about that. Okay, let's continue. More beetles. They're hanging on the ceiling. What do they think they are? Bats? Now, isn't there a... I guess not this. I guess a little farther down. I thought there was another path, but maybe not. Well, it looks like nothing in here. Whoa! Okay. Mm, right. More beetles. Oh, their dog showed up. Looks like we have enough experience to do something now. Oh, are they shooting crap at me now? You missed. You missed. You missed. You know what? We'll find them. We'll go up and chop them. Smash them with a hammer. Getting bug guts all over it. There. By the way, you hold the right trigger to gather your experience orbs. What's this? Shoot your, with your ranged weapon and then hit it with your. There we go. Shoot again and it'll open for you. Hmm. Open says me. Over here. I think we can find some books if we're careful. Maybe they're in here. More beetles. 
You want to be going in here anyways, because there's treasure. Those green orbs yes, I know you told me before. Of the creatures that you kill. A hero of Oakvale. This is one of the many books written about the hero of Oakvale who defeated the Dread Jack Blades. Though there are many conflicting reports regarding the hero's life and his feats, all accounts agree that he wielded the legendary Sword of Aeon against Jack and slew him twice, once in Jack's human state and again in the form of a dragon. Among his many other accomplishments are his victory in Witchwood Arena, the slaying of the White Balverine, and the freeing of the Prophets of the Fireheart. Though any official records of his possible offspring would have been destroyed in the civilian attack on the Heroes Guild, it is believed that his bloodline continued, and that one day a new hero will emerge to save Albion in its time of need. Cool. Tattered Spire. This rare book has a stain of time upon its pages. It tells of the fall of the Old Kingdom, and what many scholars believe was the catalyst of its destruction, the Tattered Spire. It is said that the construction of the Spire was ordered by the last Archon, and that it was to be a conduit for all the will in the world. The power it would command would be so great, reality itself might be shaped by anyone who used it. On the day of its completion, the, the Archon entered the Spire, and the kingdom's subjects awaited what would be his first wish. Whatever that wish was, the outcome was a wave of energy so vast it laid waste to the entire kingdom. Was this truly the Archon's wish? To erase a corrupt world so that a fresh one might rise in its place? Hmm. Ah, there's our treasure. Ooh. We're out of time. Alright, we'll see what this is. And then that's going to be it. Ah, oh, it's an amethyst. So, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Godspeed, stay frosty. See ya.